What's going on everyone? Danny Rodriguez here. It's time to review another movie this time. This movie stars Sasha Baron Cohan and Mark Strong along with Penelope Cruz and Rebel Wilson. This is a non-spoiler review. I'm just going to give you the pros, cons, and final score tell you whether or not you should check it out in theaters or maybe way down the road and watch it on rental or maybe just skip it in general. Uh, of course, this is an estimated budget at $35 million for this movie and it's directed by the man who directed The Incredible Hulk back in 2008 with Edward Norton. Put the name right there in, in colorful letter, uh, probably red. Uh, man, I can't, I don't want to butcher his last name, but of course, uh, I really do love The Incredible Hulk in 2008. I think this guy is a good director. He's really good at making action and there are a few good action scenes in here. It's a comedy, man. It's stupid comedy. It's Sasha Baron Cohen sort of comedy, obviously. Borat, Ali G, The Dictator, you know the man. And the myth, the legend, uh, Sasha Baron Cohen. So, you know what you're expecting. It. I mean, if you haven't seen one of those movies, it is stupid comedy. It's, this is not a great movie. It's not really a good movie. But it is a fun comedy movie that is just for laugh, shits, and giggles, basically. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here is my non-spoiler review for The Brothers Grimsby. Alright, starting off the pros, this movie is funny. Without a doubt, I laughed my ass off in this movie. I mean, literally, there are three or four or five scenes where you continuously laugh a long time. I'm not lying. Like, I, I didn't expect to walk in and laugh as much as I did. Now, walking into this movie, I wasn't like, oh my god, this is going to be a great movie or something. Like, I knew, you know, I heard some things about it, like the re other reviews and... So walking in, I was kind of like, all right, I hope it's a good, I mean, I hope it's good, I hope it's entertaining, I paid like five bucks to see the movie, so I'm hoping that I get my five bucks worth, and I certainly did, man, I really did enjoy the comedy, uh, it, it's very raunchy, very dirty, very Sasha Baron Cohen dirty, uh, I mean, they're not afraid to do some crazy shit in this movie, I mean, it's literally very disgusting stuff and I was just laughing out loud I was the only person in the theater where I just like the next scene like they already move on to a serious scene and I'm still like <laughs> I'm still like in my chair like trying to be quiet like because they move to another scene and then it's all like quiet and then I'm all like laughing and it's one of those movies where I just kept on laughing a lot man I enjoyed myself after walking out of this movie I was like that wasn't such a bad movie. Uh, Mark Strong, I really do love Mark Strong. I've loved him in every movie I've seen him in. Robin Hood, uh, Sherlock Holmes, the first one, Robert Downey Jr., Kick-Ass. Mark Strong's a fantastic actor through and through. I'm always going to be a supporter of him, and he was badass in this movie. The chemistry he had with Sasha Baron Cohen was there. They did feel like brothers, even though they don't look like brothers whatsoever. Like, yeah, yeah you came out of the same hole. Uh-huh, sure. But it, it does work, man. I love Sasha Baron Cohen's character, Nobby. You're not leaving me, Nobby, are you? It, 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 that was a bad impression. But it, it, it's such a very enjoyable comedy uh, with what's going on. There is a first-person action scene, which is funny because the trailer before the movie started was Hardcore Henry with Jay Chartol, uh, Copley's new movie, and it's like first-person action movie, and then they do a first-person action scene in here. It seems like less than three minutes, basically. But it's a first-person view, and I'm like, oh my god, so much Hardcore Henry here, so much inspiration, obviously, the movie comes before, <laughs> but it comes uh, before Hardcore Henry. But the way it was edited, the way that that action scene was edited, it, it moved too quick. It moved too fast, where literally it was like... <laughs> And I was like, wait, 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 I'm not even seeing what the action's going on because the way the editing worked there, it just didn't work well for, for the scene. It, it was too rushed, the editing. Uh, they needed to at least... It, it, I mean, it moved on way too fast. Like I, Something maybe Hardcore Henry hopefully doesn't do where they... It, the editing was like... He just moved so fast where I was like, okay, you guys sped it up so fast or you, you did something wrong. Because uh, it didn't... The first person was kind of like, oh, awesome! Oh, what's going on? Wait, hold on. Okay, awesome! Oh, oh wait, wait, what again? Like, you messed up again. Sort of that. But again, Sasha Baron Cohen was awesome. Uh, Rebel Wilson played a really good character in here. Sadly, as a con as well from the editing thing, she's barely in this movie. And, and I'm not a huge Rebel Wilson fan, but I do think she is funny. She does have, you know, that comedy talent there. But it's almost like in this movie, she has a good role, and then she's barely like there for four or three scenes, basically. But Sasha Baron Cohen, he's funny in here as Nobby. He does play his character very well, and 
Uh, I will say that it, it's one of his best characters. You know, like not like the number one best character, but it is definitely on the list of his best characters he's played. Uh, he really inhabits the character. Nobby is just he, like the kids pushing up the the mattress up the stairs and, oh, Dad, we gotta arrest him out of breath. Well, I told you, you gotta stop smoking cigarettes. You should be vaping at your age. <laughs> a lot of stupid things that Nobby is. He has like nine kids. It's really stupid. That's the good thing about this. It's a stupid comedy. It's not meant to be taken seriously. The story doesn't all have to be really there because when you're walking in, you're not walking in like, okay, here's the Oscar contender for 2016. Let's do this. No, it's just popcorn fun, um, dick balls, farts jokes, basically. I don't think there's any fart jokes in there, but you know what I'm saying. It's just basically stupid Sasha Baron Cohen, disgusting pubic hair, laughing of a movie. And that's all it is, really. And the last thing for the pros, it is really not that predictable. Penelope Cruz's character is predictable. That's another con there. I'll get over with all the cons in a minute. But the thing is, is that this movie is not all predictable. Stuff in the trailer, and then when you see the movie, there are a lot of scenes that weren't shown in the trailer. So there's a lot of new content. There's a lot of funnier content. It's like in the trailer, it didn't show all the good stuff. It didn't show all its cards. When you see the movie, it reveals all its cards, man, and it is funny, it's brutal, it's it's just, again, it's Sasha Baron Cohen and Mark Strong's chemistry together, it is very funny and raunchy, so I will say that it is not predictable, you're going to have fun, you can't you kind of say like, alright, this is going to happen, that's going to happen, and then when stuff happens in the trailer, and then you see it on screen, it's like, okay, get that stuff out of the way, but then it shows new content, and then it just keeps you laughing. And, of course, the ending was really disturbing and funny at the same time. And there are stupid moments that happen in this movie where you're like, oh, my God, you survived that. Uh, that's, yeah, and this ain't real. Of course it's not real, man. It's a stupid comedy. But the thing is, is it's still not predictable. You have two good actors leading uh, this comedy. The directing for the action wasn't bad. I would just say the editing of the action was the one thing that was sort of off a little bit. But the directing overall, you know, the cinematography, it wasn't such a bad-looking film. Like, yeah, there are, like, I'm not saying it's the greatest or it's not that, it's not really good cinematography, but it wasn't the worst thing I've ever seen, you know. It still kept its paces. Uh, you know, they had handheld cameras and then the, 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 the pod, whatever, the tripod, all that stuff. So you can tell when they're holding the camera and then they're moving and then, you know, you're not, like, freehand and all that. So it goes back and forth. Now on to the cons. Three cons, basically. I've already told you. The Rebel Wilson, she's barely shown in there. That was kind of the sad thing. Uh, Penelope Cruz's character is really predictable, not that likable, and kind of that stupid plot tease where it's almost like it almost tried to be Kingsman the Secret Service in a sort of way. With The whole movie never spoofed, like, well, it did do a little James Bond, like, ah, oh, Sean Connery. Like, it did that, but it's not like the movie's trying to be Kingsman or it's not trying to be James Bond. It's not trying to be that. It's its own thing, but it's not, it's not like, you know, it was still that, like, world crisis disease thing that will happen in the movie if you ever see it. It's one of those sort of things of twist, and Penelope Cruz's character is very predictable. That's the one thing that I was like, oh, she, I, I didn't really like her in this movie whatsoever. And in Zoolander 2, she needs to find something else to do instead of just popping up in these comedies, man. And they're not really that great at comedies either. Zoolander 2 was a fell, man. I didn't like her character in there as well. So, you know, her character in here was just, eh. I, I didn't really care for it. I kind of was bored with her character on camera. You're like, I see through your lies. I see through your lies, girl. Uh, other than that, man, like I said, the first person editing. And that's about it, man. Those are the cons. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm going to end up giving this movie the brother Grim the Brothers Grimsby, excuse me, a 7.3 out of a 10, man. That is a good score. I'm going to be saying that's a good movie, man. Uh, I really enjoyed myself during this movie. Is it worth watching in theaters? I would say it's more of a rental, really. Uh, more of a rental, but if you want to laugh your ass off, take your friends out, you know and go see this movie. If you want to laugh your ass off with your friends and all that, then definitely go see this movie and support it. But if you could wait for it, you know, if you're not into that much stupid comedy or something, and you don't want to pay, you know, five bucks. Like, it's more of a, op like a, a five buck movie. Like, a morning mat matinee. But I wouldn't say, like, pay eight bucks or ten bucks. Don't do that. Don't, don't pay eight bucks. But five bucks in the morning, something like that, a deal. Definitely check out the movie, man, with your friends. Or else just wait for rental. But it is a movie worth watching. Uh, anytime in the future. So thanks again for watching. Hopefully all of you guys enjoyed. 
Comment down below, tell me your favorite part about the movie, or tell me what you guys thought about the review. Make sure to hit that like button, I really would appreciate that, and guys, show uh, your support if you want. If you want to support the channel, I would really appreciate if you guys hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. I'll be seeing you for the next movie reviews coming shortly. Bye-bye. <laughs>